Oh yeah. Great balls of fire. Finally, let's go to some bandit killing. See how this works. We should have a clear run on the bandits. They're basically like a screen. Yeah, like a 10 second run right in front of us. Bandit. It's a couple of bandits. Actually, very close. Oh, 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 oh. That's me, you. Some problems. Yeah. Nothing. I will probably go and throw it up. Okay. They're eh, surprisingly. They're doing surprisingly little damage to us. But still very dangerous. Yes! Run as fast as you can! I'm running. Not too big of a problem. Big enough though that we do have to rest. Uh, they, as far as bandits are concerned, those guys aren't that top there of the weaker type of bandits. Still, the fireballing does help quite a lot. By two, giving two fireballs for bandit, we can reduce them to a level of a threat that we can easily handle without any fighting skill. So, it's always positives. But about two bandits at a time, uh, not that great bandit, is definitely our, uh, our limit. So. It's still a lot of damage we can uh, bring their way, but it's not exactly amazing. Uh, still with uh, just uh, fire arrows that probably wouldn't have worked. Uh, might as well kill the snorter here now too. It's so close and it's been bothering me for a long time. It should be much tougher uh, opponent anyway. If it gets to attacking range we're dead. We're immediately dead. So it cannot do that. Might as well put a mana essence so we can quickly reach it we, we do have the quick keys for the mana usage however I don't know what uh, potion it uses first but if we have the option I'd like to use what we have there's another one of those scummy beasts oh. Okay, it's definitely doable. We are going to sacrifice some um, mana portion, just do it. Yeah, could you target it, please? Why can't you target it?
There's another one of those scummy oh, beasts. Uh, it basically one fireball didn't hit and uh, set up with the inventory because it wasn't ready, so fail. Uh, we don't have uh, that much of a time, so it has to be right then and there immediately and sit. Cut out this magic crap. Want a licking? There's another one of those scummy beasts. <laughs> It's so close, but not there. Um, we would have to move, or maybe try to. You know, it's the same distance. Hmm. Bit of a problematic thing. We don't. We need to basically. By a little bit of time. Or can we go? So it does get stuck on it, uh, on the tree. Yeah, it's definitely doable, but it's still... Yeah, that's a... It's not a happy experience finding it. Um, Now it's so no, so close, uh, so I don't really want to give it up anymore. Run. Is it even taking damage? Okay, that was weird. Weird part comes from the fact that uh, we can't really cast spells when it's close. Ah, for experience. Or close to T. Ah. That horrible animal is dead, I assume. Then I can finally hunt freely again. Here's the money I promised you. Yeah, like 30 coins. It's a quest out of the way. That's the biggest benefit. And it's uh, certainly a learning experience. So, we definitely something a lot more powerful before we can face those. And that's still going to be one at a time. But I was more hoping that getting the creature might uh, give us access to something else. Little item on the ground, maybe something like that. Wolves too. Well, it was valued a little bit more than it appeared. We got a decent selection of uh, trophies, a couple of extra items, and all that. It still feels like a fairly weak reward. We were missing something. 
does seem like this is it. This seems like it's the edge of a map, so you you simply cannot go that way no, no matter how much you try. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just another another thing we've done. We can move on to new things. So learning experience that fireballs simply are not enough. Maybe again, you wouldn't need a much of a distraction there though. Maybe summon summon something, snap it with a couple of fireballs, recharge while it kills your summon creature, and that's it. Alternatively, try to multiple summons, try to swarm it. Depends on how much damage they do. But against an opponent like that, it's uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, it basically just walks through us every time without slowing down at all. Ah, <sighs> let's take care of the bandits and move on. Well, it was worth about 500 experience points from killing a single creature. By a decent march and the most dangerous creature we've faced so far. I think the other one was 300 and that was uh, one of the undead skeleton guardians. Yep, I like the fireball. It helps especially with the tough opponents, with the weaker ones, it doesn't it can aid in any way. We're staring at the sun again, are we? I don't like that effect. It just... I'd rather have no sun effect than this kind of blinding piece of... Okay, as far as we know, there's two bandits still left here. It should open up another quest. Also, three stone tablets. Or we'll finish up another quest. Maybe we'll get a key to one of the chests we found. They have a guard position there. Might be able to sneak through, but what's the point in that? Yeah, the guy on the left has to die. Feel free to actually sh hit the guy. <sighs> yeah, this was a catastrophe. Catastrophe of epic proportions. Uh, basically, the shots were divided by too many targets. I thought there were two guys, there were three. So, yeah, this, this is no good. It's uh, much worse than I thought. <laughs> Four. Just 
be giving up fairly soon. We're getting quite far away from the actual target area. Oh crap. Okay, that was <laughs> that, that was funny. So fireballs, two fireballs are not quite enough to kill anything here. Uh, it's um it's more of a annoyance thing for me because it it takes so long to actually go and rest up. But I yeah, I'm not exactly a huge fan of the camera system either. Down. We are going to lose the loot in the bandits, but it is what it is. Could I please have the option to not to attack my allies? These guys are giving a decent lot of uh, money. So I'm inclined to keep going. Otherwise, we're probably going to lose all of the loot. Um, I didn't count that many good opponents there anymore. How many points do we have? 50, so 3 castings. That's uh, easily enough to kill. We burn through 1. We killed 3. So there should be 2 more left, right? Or at least 1 more. I wasn't paying that much attention. I think it might be the leader guy. I guess we were lucky in a way, because we killed basically a guy who was carrying a uh, quest uh, item, so he, he didn't despawn. By the way, that's what we came here for. Three stone tablets. Ah. <sighs> Where's that? A soul. Arrows and gold. So not even worth the lock picks we broke there. Yeah, 
Yep, I think that's it. So let's go see what our reward for this job is. Doesn't really matter, the loot we got is, uh, is worth it uh, on its own. Also, three stone tablets. We have now seven. I wonder if it's in our best interest to actually give them the stone tablets or uh, not finish the quest. I'm inclined to finish the quest just because I haven't really bothered him and return the stone tablets and two, I, I don't want to have the quest there haunting me. I just don't like that. Even if it makes more financial sense to just return the tablets. I know I at least get the potions for doing that, but it's just About those stone tablets, I've got some. Thank you. That's enough. Now I can keep my promise to the water mage in town, and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me, if you like. Maybe I can sell you a few things that might interest you when we get there. Wait a minute. Show me how I can hit hard. Plus one string. Right. Pay attention. There's a simple trick. When you hit, you don't take strength from your arm, but from your entire body. Turn your hip, bring your shoulder to the front, and stretch out your arm at the same time. <laughs> if you hit right, you'll notice the difference. Well, that's not exactly a... Uh much of a advice. Use the larger muscles and momentum of your body to get more power isn't much of a... I mean, that's something basic. Probably the first thing you learn if you have to do any kind of fighting. I'm following him. Where he's actually going? Are you really just going to walk to the? Where is he going, by the way? He said he was going home. Where do you live? Can I get something special if I talk to you when you're at your home? We need about four and a half thousand for the lot, so we're not gonna see that anytime soon. But it does mean we're going to have to do a lot of things. Without a doubt, the cost of a the getting new spells is gonna go up and up and up. So that means cut out this magic crap already. Multiple level ups to do anything. Let's go a little bit forward. Seriously, are you... Where are you going? There's nothing here but the landowner farms. Might as well check it out. Out of curiosity, if nothing else. Where does Eero live? Okay, are you living in the local lake, possibly? They tend to move uh, through a straight line most of the time.
<sighs> uh, I doubt we'll get anything from this. Plus, we get a chance to loot some uh, extra potion ingredients. If there's one thing I do want to test is if you can buy some of the ingredients with the money. Well, even not that. What is the scroll worth 1000 and 1500? What do they do? That's what I really want to know. It seems odd that they would be recipes because every other recipe you have to buy. Oh, so you live here. Hey! That was no big deal. This here is your hut? Yes. Why? Anything wrong with it? Don't you have any problems with the mercenaries? Eh, uh, as long as I don't interfere with their business, they'll leave me alone too. Moreover, they're good customers, and I pay them to keep an eye on my house when I'm not home. I'm not telling you anything new. Show me your wares. There isn't much choice, I'm afraid. Heavy Warhammer. Fine Bastard Sword. I couldn't get away Relax. Light 200. Fine Short Sword. Even. Maximum hit points plus 20. 1500. It's not a bad thing, but again, not a priority at the moment. Amulet of Strength. Plus 10 strength. He really should have known better. Okay. That's been going on the permanent uh, addition to life is probably worthwhile. I'm not gonna buy it now. We should start to settle uh, what crap away. It's, it's just starting to take uh, too long to it navigate the inventory at this point. Uh, rough Bastard Sword. Yeah, the prices seem to be the same no matter who do I s who you sell them to. So, mine as well just dump. I used to say that myself. I'm saving the orc axe because it's uh, very different. It's it's terrible. Also in value. He never would have thought of that himself. You don't have to tell me that. That was obvious all along. You don't have to tell me that. Nothing amazes me anymore. I couldn't get away with that. Can't rely on that. It's a bad business. That was no big deal. All that matters is strength. So don't tell me that. Okay, we have almost two thousand gold now. I'm no better off myself. That's no secret. Nobody will learn anything from me. Yes. 66 heavy branches. Uh, let's just sell them. Walking stick. Short bow is the only bow we can use at the moment. It's a bad business. Two thousand three hundred thirty-four gold, and that was basically just a chunk weapons we sold. You don't have to tell me that. I never knew that. Uh, I like probably should sell the old stone tablets because they stack. They probably naturally can't uh, individually tell different things. So I don't see any point in saving those. Mm. We still have our, well, most of our stolen loot, which is probably worth quite a bit on its own. Also, the body parts. So I'm staying out of it. There's no immediate lack of funds for us. 
I I'm still not going to buy them. Time for things like that. Elixir of life. Listen to the wrong people. I'm much more interesting in, interested in other things. Done that. One is... What the hell are those two pieces of paper in the city? What? I mean, I, I really, really want to know. What the hell are they? We'll go take a rest here. You want to kill the things we encounter? Um. We could go to the crypt. It's a very interesting place, the crypt. Mm. Uh, see, it's also basically a uh, we need a way from us, uh, well, where we now are. With the funds we got from the assault weapons, we could uh, potentially now get the amulet that gives us 10 extra mana points too. It wouldn't really benefit us with a new fireball, but it would help a little bit. Alternatively, and maybe the pieces of paper, the potion recipes, actually have some kind of permanent effects. If that's the case, we'll probably just buy them. Permanent effects are always, uh, or always more valuable for obvious reasons. And the amulet, as I said, isn't exactly something we like. It has a bonus of 40 points to our attributes, of which 10 are actually useful to me. So... Hmm, but can they be in respawns here? Pardon me, anything. Ooh, Goblin Skeleton. Yeah, I don't want to look at it. Yeah. Shit, I can't see where it is from here. I can see it from the side. It's fairly far away. Either way, we can probably take down a single skeleton with our entire magical supply, so... This guy seems to have a glove. what he has. Certainly some kind of uh well I don't know. Graphical glitches, rusty sword, skeleton bone, and the key. So, very likely keys to the chests. Every time we open things, or take something more likely from the chests, crap is gonna come our way. Black ore. Not too bad. Okay, let's see our options. Is it just opening the chest or need to take some?
opening is good enough. Basically, I think the mage appears and it uh, summons skeletons. Yeah, this spell isn't a good here. We have spells that basically burst out damage from our own cast character. So something like that might be great here. Let's take a closer look at the actual. There's, they'll spawn here somewhere. We can potentially loot one place now. Let's take... Uh, what do we have? Gold, gold, ceiling, mana, glacier quartz. So, useful items certainly, but nothing... Even if we would never find it, it would not be much damage. Pretty much the same crap. Very useful stuff, um, money, but if we would never have found this place, yeah, and crap. 